and cough and couldn't actually drink. And when he did drink, he swallowed so much wind and was an absolutely unpleasant experience. Also felt very powerless because here I have the milk and my child still not actually benefiting. It's actually making him feel more ill, um, you know, winds and colic and all of that thing. So for that initial period, I was absolutely controlled by my breasts and breastfeeding and pumping and storing. And it felt like I was in this twilight of it was just there was there was no difference between day and night. It was just one long blur of being in undies, being drenched in milk, sticky all the time, you know, my child struggling, struggling with wings because of it was just, it was, it was really hell. And um, I cried a lot. I, I honestly cried so much. It was, it took anything and I would just cry. Um, I felt like I couldn't, I felt like I wasn't able to console my child. I felt that I wasn't in control. And I think that I struggled with that. I felt that, um, if it just if it just wasn't for my breasts, I would be okay. Um, I I felt like I just wanted to leave, just leave the baby and just go. Like I, this is not what I actually want. Um, I I felt envious that my husband was able to look at my baby with all this love and all this adoration, and I didn't feel that because all I says through the blur, I wondered if I was alone or if other mothers felt the same way I did that everything involving our children was painful in some way. The emotions, whether they were joy, sorrow, love or pride, were so deep and sharp that in the end they left you raw, exposed and, yes, in pain. The human heart was not designed to beat outside the human body, and yet each child represented just that. A parent's heart, naked, bare, beating forever outside its chest. Thank you.